getting these ready. Take my blood, take my death shroud and the remnants of my body. Take photographs of my corpse at the grave, lonely. Send them to the world, to the judges and to the people of conscience. Send them to the principled ones and the fair-minded and let them bear the guilty burden before the world of this innocent soul. Let them bear the burden before their children and before history of this wasted, sinless soul, of this soul which has suffered at the hands of the protectors of peace. That was Juma Aldosari. Guantanamo Bay does not exist. The U.S. military industrial complex has patched together a simulacrum of the detention center, which now dominates the public's consciousness and whitewashes the daily violence of Guantanamo. Through th this simulacrum, the global war on terror is justified. Fear and 11, Guantanamo has become a, uh, become a simulation essential for producing the reality of war. It became a key to way to convince the public the war is real necessary. It's conduct, just and humane. The telegenic spectacle of Guantanamo was transmuted into a reality of safe, humane, legal, and transparent. Bush mobilized information dominance over the way the, war, the global war on terror were depicted. Talking heads acted as messengers, forced multiple Parties delivering the administration's message to millions due to these tours of zero going on to Guantanamo ran under reported the Guantanamo that they need to describe the dream like an illegality and abusiveness was supplanted by reality which Guantanamo was consistent with the Geneva Convention. The majority of Americans and you support the existence of Guantanamo. Guantanamo became part of a surreal warfare in which global war and terror was a media event as a Guantanamo was used as a single locker room of war. The info management was intended to simulate the intelligent spectacle in the global uh, reality of the global war and terror is meaningful. This version of Guantanamo to rely not on the uh, constitution of indefinite detention as necessary but also on a sanitized version of the Guantanamo was the performance of the national identity. There's always a need to secure Guantanamo was based on the creation of these mediations. The real Guantanamo does not exist in this securitized performance of Guantanamo as clean and humane is part and parcel of the military industrial complex justification for the global war on terror. It serves to legitimize the pseudo war while masking its violence. Veering into the global war on terror has led to the death of 253,000 civilians, the displacement of millions from their homes, the detention of over 100,000 has been used to justify extraordinary uh, rendition, harsh interrogation, torture, detention, and targeted killing war. And this government cannot be initiated into this game without widespread public consent, without deployment. Of knowledges to testify normal world's dissension, uh, uh, decisions associated with the global war in Turkey, the legitimacy of the global war was the construction of the U.S. as a waging a good war. Humanely, uh, Guantanamo became central in construction of the global war as a clean war. An image of the United States as the champion of human rights, Guantanamo remains a key image to imagine the way the war in Turkey convinced that the public was necessary and that its conduct was just and humane. The firm of Guantanamo was shifted as exemplifying liberal values, public opinion within the U.S. continued to reflect an underserving, uh, an understanding of the site as a consistent with the international standards. Seven out of ten respondents considered detainees treated right images and interrogations were concealed detainee identities of race detention for uh, practice reframe conditions were written as two good guards were cast as victims and resistant uh, practice reappropriate Guantanamo played a role in defining what clean war looks like Guantanamo's clean language and imagery helped generate legitimacy for its war as it helped to enter the global war through the invisible and create a context in which the global war on terror was legitimate the war on terror is part and parcel of the sovereign's ability to exploit the fundamental flaws in the legal system continue the global biopolitical war the ballot should side with the global counter movement against such violence you should refuse the line goalie 13 we live in a press the time of crisis towards global phenomenon has now become self Conscious. The struggle is for global and war how is always global terrorists become an instrument of racism. What is new with this racist and terrifying wars are consequence proportion going on is the global cleanse, the global sovereign target. No, those who do not belong to counter race class gender way of life, the sovereign target anyone who not be killed without sacrifice, struggle for dominance is a fight to the fanatical self serving drive is the source of the crisis crisis not be solved. The struggle for dominance is limited to the struggle to the lives of the global sovereign. This must be a revolution against the paranoid violence. This is the nature of counter violence, not to use violence and want to interpret the acumen towards Mechan Tiger Square to Bob Prince and Todd McClure and Pause and Middle Group, the Bill Sequel and Voice Against the Nobles, the reality of the domination action must be taken. But is important to sovereign leaders war machines, please stop. 
apparatus of falsehoods in the law be done what is important, the sovereign be shown the proximity to the criminal, the movement does not want to be dominated, it's not without effect, the depositing at the institution level, the torch become a form of lawful killing, it's a war crime, it's clear indication of what common reason, the earth needs care, it is impaired to those who know and understand but what they must revolt against a sovereign discourse, the purported sterilized environment of Guantanamo could be no further from the truth, this image serves to hide the detention center's ongoing violence, if you are in love and representation of Guantanamo has changed while the practice surrounding detention remains similar, the frame shifted so that these are no longer visible, instead visual representations of Guantanamo dominated with different images, the orange series have been placed White series and that were leveled at the Bush administration images that reinscribed the humane onto U.S. detention practices. Detainees most commonly appeared in dress in whites and playing sports instead of images of detainees arriving and being processed. The images allows the United States administration to continue to claim that it is acting in the spirit of Geneva Convention, allows the U.S. administration to continue the claim that it is acting in the spirit of Geneva Convention, representing their policies toward detainees as humane. This year's resolution presents us with the question of increasing economic engagement towards Cuba. We respond with another question What of Gu Guantanamo detainees? Guantanamo has been historic a centerpiece of U.S. economic policy towards Cuba. We believe criticism of its effects of its current policy has on Guantanamo detainees is a prerequisite to further engagement. Re in 12, Guantanamo is always involved in contested race for authority to its centrality in the Western Hemisphere as a gateway for economic opportunity, natural resources, and the Cuban landscape is integral economic resource for colonial enterprise. Jewish narrative within Cuba's independence was part of a broader imperial program. The base serves the U.S. affairs, but not Cuba's. The uh, new obscurities arise. Guantanamo base exceptional legal status to justify the use of naval bases detention camp. These are among the Many questions those needed a, a, a closer interpolation of the allure of the Cuban landscape. What makes Cuba's control of Guantanamo Bay vital today with the changing context of Guantanamo's centrality? It is important to view the Cuban landscape as continued narrative of imperial expansion that is evolving the new meanings of the global political economy. cigarettes on him. We shocked him with an electric device. We spat on him. We poured a hot cup of tea on his head. We told him that, quote, we brought you here to kill you. We beat him until he vomited blood. We threatened to have him raped. We dressed him in shorts and left him in a frigid, air-conditioned room. We abandoned him in another room with no water. We invited him to drink from his toilet bowl, which he did. We wrapped him in an Israeli flag. We told him that we would hold him forever, and we told him that we would send him to Egypt to be tortured. On a different day, we chained him to the floor and cut off his clothes while a female MP entered the room. We dripped what we said was menstrual blood on his body. When he spat at us, we smeared this blood on his face. We kissed the cross around our neck and said, this is a gift from Christ for you Muslims. Our advocacy is one that seeks to expose the hidden flaws in current U.S. Cuba policy. The performance of the 1AC is the performance the sovereign intended you not to see. We are a starting point for the refusal of the Guantanamo Bay simulacrum. If you're an into activists outside the wire engaged in public protest against Guantanamo, performing Guantanamo, despite the efforts of the administration to clean it, performance of the Guantanamo icon enabled activists continually remind viewers of its violence. Consequently, an impressive range of interventions and emerging protests against U.S. detention interrogation practices to perform Guantanamo is to render visible the experiences of torture and incarceration and to expose its brutality. These performance and interventions contest the official construction of Guantanamo, transforming its meaning and producing common sense which military detention and military in the U.S. state, where during the image of Guantanamo Orange Club, Guantanamo detainees become visual shorthand for a tortured rather than a terrorist subject position and became a central theme of a discourse that sought to delegitimize Guantanamo. The 1AC's discussion is valuable. That's debris and Lacey and Tim. When the Tipton Three were about to release from Guantanamo, they were taken to the Love Shack where they were set, where, where they were to munch on Pringles. So that, uh, Guantanamo Pringles effect may be working in American daily life too. Americans are forgetting about Iraq, but may have been bemoaned America's lack of an anti-war movement methods, clean torture, have been exported in touch with Latin American leaders. They the comply. People, the people comply with authority and compliance. that might deserve into accepting torture or a condition by the rate of the trace of torture. The experts, the practice of everyday life. What Foucault had in mind was as managed managed by the modern societies that impose war arms and rules and turn populations into passive objects of authority. Carry over the face of torture in schools. This docility what becomes the easily obtained. And as education policy turns to schools and, 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 and into endless data playing centers, data crunching and immutable discourse satisfied. Other turn leaders, other educational benefits can be obtained from the normalizing of torture and policy in public life. Crowds gave their hearty enthusiasm to veritable political virtue, joining in the triumph of the executioners. Educational messages in schools create a notion of better Jack Bowers, but there's always a glitch. Enthusiasm clowns can end up turning against their sovereign leader, sympathizing with prisoners. That card is marked at prisoners. All right. What purpose is the poem at the beginning of the 1AC, sir? Um, so the fear and evidence describes um, counter readings of Guantanamo. We would argue that the poem is one that 
contributes to the 1AC's broader message, which is a reinterpolation of Guantanamo and a resistance to this. Contributes to the 1AC's broader message. All right, it's also a poem from the torture victim described in the video we presented. All right, did he read the poem before or after he was tortured, if, like, as was that, described in the video? I mean, that poem describes his Guan, like his experience in Guantanamo. And post All right, that's like, fine. As that experience All right, that's fine. Ongoing. Guantanamo Bay does not exist. What does that mean? <laughs> So Guantanamo Bay, as we understand it, and as the broader, I guess, American public understands it, does not exist. Our argument is that the way that uh, simulation happens in things like consciousness raising in media is one that excludes. So the American certain public doesn't understand that people are tortured there. Is that the argument, or? Well, that, but also as our evidence describes, the we understand that potential violence as humane. Um, and occurring in accordance with like international standards. Our argument is that it is not enough to merely understand that violence takes place there, but the nature of that. All right, that's fine. Why can't reading a plan text to have the United States federal government close Guantanamo Bay have the same effect as the discussion that you started in the one see? Why doesn't it have the same effect? Yeah, sure. So the gully evidence describes that the starting point for resistance um, against sovereign violence must A, occur from your subject position, B, all of the fear and evidence is in the context of how as citizen subjects we need to, uh, we need to like break away from like technical forms of language that we will argue will be accompanied to a plain text. All right, that's fine. But is the app to shift, is the app to shift away from sovereignty? Yeah. Sovereign power. Sovereign, sovereign power as so described. Sovereign right. power. All right, that's fine. Your discussion is valuable. Why doesn't every other round in which you, Misha, and Greg, or Julian and uh, Sid from uh, Pinecrest solve for your dis solve for the value of your discussion? Why doesn't that solve? The Veer and evidence describes that we need an, a relentless reinterpolation of this image as it exists. We've also never debated y'all. All right. And I don't think we've read this app in front of Clark or any of these people. All right, that's fine. At what point do we know that the image of Guantanamo, like the way the public currently sees it, is gone? How do we know it's gone? Like, at what point has at what point do we know the app has succeeded? I mean, like, we don't think the one AC is the end point to that, right? We think the one AC is part of a broader movement, which allows us to resist sovereign violence as it exists in this space. So, like, it's not so linear. It's not like yeah, one day one like, was a problem, the next day it's fixed. That's why the relentless presentation of the images is important, right? It's not like. One reading of it means Guantanamo is suddenly gone. The public never believes like everything is fixed. And sure, my, sure. My question is more along the lines of: At what point does the relentless inter does the relentless pushing for Guantanamo to stop being violent succeed? Like when does it can succeed? It, like, can it succeed? Like we think that the start the end point is not Guantanamo, right? That's what's right. described by the Gully evidence. Okay, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad. First off, the critique the affirmative wrongs from the horror exists in the American friends suffering is so masky that's Kane's heaven. Yes, it is worth to reject change. The solution is merely a hope and if we ever do suffering, it is bound more quickly ever eliminated. It is better to be suffering so as to suffer ourselves rather than have to our dominate us with whatever progress we are making. It is all amounts and nothing with the suffering is fundamental and central to life. We know eliminate something. We can only seek to mask it and they spend their lives trying to create a perfect world so that we can live satisfied life in the product and not the process that they find value this in Jefferson's hate for life that started in 96. The suffering of life of affirmative Greek thought yielded suffering if it's valid. This led to, led to understanding of suffering as an imperfection of the design imagine understood. Has something to blame, uh, to blame is not tomorrow. The real world was blame, blaming its contradictory claims is on its own imperfect God. Knowledge was on tomorrow, searches for nothingness. And the alternative is the modern question about this. Answer the question. Do you decide to remove the time to warn you nothing in case the planet about negative to say yes? That's ancient age. So, 
Everybody will return, would you throw yourself down and curse thoughts? <laughs> or uh, uh, curse, or I answer, well, never I heard anything, one of my name is, uh, what we'll change it, or curse you, do you have to do this, I just, uh, once more, and, and it will talk more, relax, the goodness, but how will it suppose, would you become to uh, create nothing more, next off, on uh, to uh, topicality, interpretation, basically, and where the resolution to uh, increase the status point, the need of everyone must have found how the United States government should increase the communication, the end, the rule of the power to set a norm for the debate community, a lot comes out, counts as amending the resolution, and the violation, if everyone does not advocate the resolution, this undermines class and education, and resolve the or uh, 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 colon that means legislative action that army officers will afford. The colon is used in a former resolution after the war resolved or resolved this council petition in the mayor and the U.S. foreign government should. It means the, it means the debate is about the house of policy satisfy a governmental means that's Erickson and three. Each topic in each topic to get topic contained in the nation doing acting the U.S. should the uh, the verb should urgent action should need to put into policy into action through governmental means need debates about whether something ought to occur and increasing to become larger and or greater in quantity as in Carter online dictionary of six and, and increase become or make something larger or uh, become larger in great in number of quantity or degree and economic engagement means exclusively economic contests like trade loans grants and grants that person one identifying uh, a given as an attempt to influence political behavior uh, HR say through the uh, settlement enhancement of contact economic contest trade agreements and growth support and economic and humanitarian in the form of loans and or, and or grants and the instruments of economic e of engagement must be exclusively economic that should capacity ten the approach of engagement is economic engagement and forces exclusively on economic economic instruments of foreign policy economic engagement is impulse to be conscious of development of economic relations with the adversary in, in order to change the target behavior and to improve bilateral relations and debate is again there's an intrinsic value to playing a game that's hot top to constantly on the political of uh, political uh, principles of fairness you I need uh, another true problem I own achievement but the significance of any victory then any will punish debating and uh, capability of better winds up being meaningless I should want no. Also, want that be uh, that, that, that they be adversaries that they have the opportunity to get any capacity to succeed in the contest. They should be able to honor the winner of a fair contest, such as the logic of the competition that contains normative features, include how we people become able to participate, uh, participate in democratic respect, uh, demands inclusion, and agnostic of politics or construction as a competitive fairness. Again, uh, can't sustain a robust conception of political right to act, procedural notion conferred upon citizens in order to sustain viable political practice, constraints on speech, access, and so uh, uh, ensure alongside political contest. We can defend laws of rights such as education as a prerequisite for fair competition. And having compared people to topic is very prerequisite for debate. You require this turns their case that Shibley 2K may say is the consensus kills debate. We hold, but we all hold certain truth. Uh, therefore, we can argue about them. We cannot argue about something. We cannot agree on the topic. In terms of argument, we have utterly different ideas about crimson uh, evidence or good argument. When, uh, we must agree about what is being debated for, uh, before we can debate it. The answer is meaningless if there's a lack of an agreement about what, about what is being contested. Debate is not sharing ideas about the uh, subject and or the terms next off the critique. The absence is in depth intentions as a place that lack law. This necessarily calls on the normal laws to be ever, uh, uh, Universally applied, this ignores how the normal law treats all the persons who have a good time but negative challenge the normalization of law are turned into and indefinite detentions by fighting against the law, not within the law that shuns. Oh, private plus the of legal writing is a sense that it represents an exceptional phenomenon that may be overcome by law. But Plato, the plight of detainees is a less outcome of false expansion than of illegal authorities. Global autonomy may be revealed as the outcome of attempts to domesticate the political regime or the legal regime of the Guantanamo Bay and as a replication of merit. Resist the court of the legal entitlement of Guantanamo detainees. To, uh, to opportunity to contest their decision. The DOD had regulations far, far from the lawlessness. One finds one time about a space, a space filled in a ship of domain well from which law has withdrawn is generated as a defend a definitive diagnostic of the new law. The law of the probably then cast as intolerable possibility of characterization of Guantanamo rule and the archetype of, 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 of the exception. The incredible such phenomenon is understood to necessitate law. A government endorses the legal scholarship surrounding Guantanamo Bay makes this jurisdiction represent a special or original case of a government's characterization of replication. Case of familiar legal argumentation, composition, and they go on time to be stripped of all of their life. A law discovered a uh, discourse of hyper regulatory abundance. Uh, what is a what if it's if if, if, uh, if not a call for compliance with no red board of Guantanamo has uh, so served up equitable energies with considerable effectiveness. The focus falls on less than 600 persons being abused in Cuba rather than the uh, palm being willing in prisons, acro uh, prisons across the world. The indefinite detention of Guantanamo be can uh, counter not through a uh, return to the norm, but through an existence upon the prevalence of the exceptional and uh, exception in, the, uh, in these terms only when the question. Who decides the forms of the concrete uh, uh, case that the law cannot, uh, cannot actually determine the potential of uh, the exception where uh, authorities decide on the exception already known to be monopolized and the exception will no longer embody the power of the real uh, re life to break through the crystal mechanisms that will become to form a vibe repetition that is the cause of acceptance of the norm. This law uh, offers a scope for uh, interruption of the norm, uh, normative order of Guantanamo Bay. I think there's anyone from the Bay's legal order as dedicated to the annihilation. We become to appreciate these corporate political action with, with in such a jurisdiction. You just don't go on to, cre uh, to go on to the case. The asset version of the uh, sovereignty Resisting to the link was the one was the one was the one he see cross it as more he asked oh four no interruption principle so sovereign sovereign exception is possible.
possible without risking the end of the world. AKA okay, completely yeah, expanding yeah. politics by the fact accomplish nothing more than the exclusion of the exclusion of the political the political details. Not just to the usher in the good life. My limited social contact from rather exists to serve as the meaning very acceptably implemented, therefore predictive capital is inevitable. Absence of any final university subdivision of the good life yeah, can't distinguish between legitimate values but is vital to uh, democratic politics and terrorism is a real fit that's Elshin three. Robust politics of democratic argument turns on making a, a distinction, uh, dis, uh, distinction obliter, uh, obliterators for whom a dead body is a, is a dead body for who would prohibit us vehemently. Our commentators fail to distinguish us on the terrorist one and have it both ways. Just for oil requires distinction from limitation of uh, basic norm of use military training against combat and non combatant dis dis distraction by contrast of training video. Recruitless Islamist radicals shows that you be tabulated with nines up there. Yes, our terrorism is extreme and Islam Islamist fundamentalism is extreme re remediation of modern Indian self tax code. In so, I times where he causes declares a compul uh, compulsory for Muslims to consider the infidel <laughs> their enemies, how can we be responsible to demand by refusing to educate <laughs> girls and women? And discourse doesn't matter, focus on it is by this tapped in common 95. I can think of a few more striking indicators the political and individual <laughs> and from the field of study that you can only oh, recognize the discourse of people uh, people whose lives uh, uh, form the material for postmodern kind of counter hegemonic discourse, not to the yeah. terms of the new recognition of the discourse of subjectivities, <laughs> emphasizing the discourse itself represents both a culture and a human failure. And we should uh, keep it uh, open, but the human rights abuses are oversold the entirety of the app that says, Gal, three, <laughs> once should stay open because our current administration will not transfer relief yeah, or yeah. prosecute when Guantanamo in 2013 is a prior far cry yeah, from Guantanamo in 2002. There have been a significant uniform and improvement in condition. The majority of Guantanamo detainees now live in communal yeah, facilities where they can eat, pray, yeah, and yeah, extra yeah, yeah, the end move. These yeah, men would uh, be held in military detention, confined to their cells 22 hours a day, ratcheted, uh, ratcheted back half a yeah, yeah, the pre previous levels of harsh and Obama would be affirmatively yeah, creating a new system of detention and they can't solve prisoners just get transferred. But that's what well result yeah, in yeah, the yeah, out that's HRF 12. Yeah, Obama yeah, has made a progress towards a closing what time to the task force of recommending. The majority of the team to be yeah. transferred be held in a law of the Board of Administration has transferred 72 to the detainees from the Guantanamo and most detainees are already, are already getting a separate transfer to and only Guantanamo can effectively deter, uh, deter terrorism that means there are uh, 12, 12 if Guantanamo serves an important role in the war against terrorism Supreme Court has a rule that they enjoy the constitutional rights of habeas corpus conditions of detention are safe and human to comply with international standards that the law of armed conflict also engage in the and, uh, enemy includes killing or capturing them just as an applicable to uh, Al-Qaeda is a uh, Nazi POW with this principle is upheld by the Supreme uh, Court and terrorism causes the huge hard to watch keep us more real. Third, the theme technology allows people to other groups to organize, recruit, and funds monitors with people can obtain uh, uh, obtain credibility, legal power. Sorry, I marked that last part. I didn't say that, but I marked the last part. Supreme Court, but I have the mark thing right here. Okay. Um, status of the critiques. They're, They're both, both conditional. Uh, first critique: Why is Rosantamon a bad thing? Uh, sure. We think that Rosantamon the ensuing hatred of life, like or who hates people, themselves actually. Sorry, who hates themselves? Just anyone who becomes dissatisfied or as a result of what they're doing, not having the anticipated outcome, or in, the, or in a lot why, of cases. Why do the Guantanamo prisoners hate themselves? Sure, it's it, sure it's not a question of the Guantanamo prisoners exclusively, necessarily. It's a question of people in this round, because okay. Josh may vote you up and be like, sweet, something's going to change now. But in reality, in all likelihood, yeah, nothing so is going to change. Yeah, so why does he hate change. himself if he votes like that? Sure, he hates himself because he gets the idea of like, oh, I can't do anything my life doesn't have any meaning. He fixes this, so this one, he fixes this this one problem, but then other problems exit, exi uh, come up because okay. of these pro because of that fixation. Sure. Framework. Um, why are you incapable of engaging the F? Because there isn't a stable like the resolution tasks you with defending U.S. So federal government action. Don't, don't even read that. Do your two, 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 two critiques and case arguments not engage the F? I mean, I'd say that the Nietzsche critique is generally pretty. Generic. Well, you didn't make an education argument. You only made a fairness argument. So how are you incapable of engaging the app? Sure, we can't engage the app specifically because there's nothing in the context. Okay, where did the one in see make any argument? Nobody writes articles about like, oh, we shouldn't Where did the one in see make any education argument? You just said that we need to be able to engage. Sure, I agree that we need to be able to engage. It's a question of whether we can effectively engage the app, which we can't, because okay. we have to rely on generics. That's fine. The third critique, um, the link as I have interpreted it is, the one is he calls on normal laws to be universally applied. This ignores how normal laws treat all prisoners, immigrants, and uphold suffering. Why is this enough to the F? Because you present Guantanamo as a place where there is. Where, where did the one is he call on the law? Where the, called on the law, sure. The idea that we should treat prisoners in Guantanamo. It's like the whole idea that we shouldn't be torturing the yeah. prisoners. Yeah, your Guantanamo evidence is about Agamben's interpretation of Guantanamo as a space of exception, and that when we call on the law to resolve that violence, it masks. The violent nature of the law itself. So why do you want to do that? Sure, I agree. That you're calling on you're calling on the law to resolve the issue by showing by doing things like showing the video of guards overstepping their boundaries and. Can you tell me where in the one I see we call on the law? How does the video do that? 
Sure, it's the, the idea yeah. that we should be stopping the, that we should be stopping the guards I mean, from overstepping their boundaries. Am I the law? What? Like, am I the law? I don't think you're necessarily we the law, but I'm not sure that's super relevant. Okay, then what is your? The link is the fact that you pre like you present the idea that like it's over one, what's sure, happening in Gondor is a violation of the law now. Okay, which terrorists can cause extinction now? Uh, specifically, the evidence outlines uh, like no, Al Qaeda. What? It doesn't outline any of them. The Mace card talks about how Al Qaeda and yeah, where does this card say they can cause extinction? Which is what the tag is. The Muriel thirteen evidence say uh, small numbers of people can attain incredibly lethal power.
then the second critique, then the first Nietzsche critique, then framework. Terror is justified by the military industrial complex is framing of Guantanamo is safe, humane, and necessary to U.S. security. This results in endless war and intervention, which guarantees eventual extinction via retaliation from countries American invades. It also grants the sovereign the ability to nullify individuals' values so they can be killed without sacrifice. That's the ghouly evidence determining the value of life is a prerequisite to evaluating what impacts are important. The one I see is poetic and visual exposition of Guantanamo's unsafe and inhumane pragma practices ruptures this framework in the media and debate, which delegitimizes U.S. imperialism and opens the space for a new form of politics. They say that the affirmative uh, sub subversion of sovereignty results in extinction, but no, it doesn't say that. It just says it's using the word extinction is a metaphor for the disruption of the politics that they want to so desperately cling to. Yes, we do. We do re create the extinction of the politics that enables the state of exception and enables the space of emergency. Sovereign's ability to determine life can only be violent and it can only be bad, which means it has to be rejected. They say that uh, we have to, uh, we need to recognize the legitimate forms of violence and democratic politics and terrorism is real, but there's no risk. Uh, there's no risk of it. First, all of their, are, all of their authors are, are, are shams that are uh, manipulating, uh, manipulating evidence in order to justify U.S. intervention and imperialism. Guantanamo proves that the nobody deserves the treatment that these people have, there's no risk of terrorism and, and the Mueller, uh, assumes every born Mueller time politicians reach dramatic risk inflation. Like Hiroshima sites so the global percent of state terrorist groups have exhibited limited desire of progress, arms have been seen and like change would be immediate. They would have to transport a long distance the trade terrorists would need to large well equipped machine uh, I put machine to stop and high skill scientific the precise blueprints require technical hardness verge on the unfeasible. The process would take a year adopting bias in the terror favor of odds. Everyone is revealing their own to be sold of all the terrorists might steal a loose new gun response advice and destroy the all the table with mobile culture card if nuclear state would collapse and villains would be rain under the heavy guard that would still have locks and the disassembled market disassembled this answer this answers their terrorism extinction claim. No, they say, well, the discourse doesn't matter, but it specifically does matter in the context of Guantanamo. It's the media's representations of the spaces sanitized that it has enabled the violence to occur in the first place. The way we need to recognize this by the presentation of things like the video and recognize them as torture victims and not as terrorist aspects that to stop the violence of the status quo. This is unique and it doesn't assume, and their evidence doesn't assume it. Now they say Guantanamo, the next argument is all Guantanamo good, but you should be highly skeptical. Their evidence is from neocons basing their work off other neocons. The impact is, the, to this is the epistemology, is the affirmative, the year 11, despite marketing themselves as independent commitments for U.S. television networks and magazines, retired U.S. military officers usually function as diverse embeds, military personnel embedded with news uh, functions of uh, organizations tasked with the work of the Pentagon to communicate key messages exchanged for receiving privilege access to U.S. military and senior policymakers based in the military experience and like, coupled with the exercise of having to work Guantanamo with these reverse embeds were tel uh, intelligent and expected in their own way, which conferred not only authenticity, but also authority over Guantanamo through the percent of themselves as unbiased and objective observers. Their function is not only active mass sports multiple also assist circulation of civic and music of Guantanamo as spectacle. They say that the prisoners, uh, that the, the prisoners get transferred. This is do this doesn't make sense in the context of our affirmative because we don't just dis we just don't close Guantanamo from a policy perspective. That's why we can't just use a plan text. We need to disrupt sovereignty to begin with. They say it deters terrorism. No, it doesn't. It just creates violence. I answered the terrorism extinction claim above. Go to the law or yeah, go to the law critique. This critique is literally the affirmative. The one he refuses to call in the law, let alone standardize it. We aren't a normalization of the law that makes it more inclusive. We are a refusal of the sovereign's law in the space of exception. There is absolutely no link to their argument, which means permutation to both solves 100%. It's not mutually exclusive. They should have a better understanding of what our affirmative does before trying to make this claim. And the one he is a resistant reading of the image is Guantanamo detainees suffering, voting after he claimed the field of representation. We should move away from the safe and humane simulacrum of the Gitmo circulated by the USFG and toward the exposition of the torture victim the anguish. This reinscription is key to all a successful anti Guantanamo and anti sovereign resistance of Iberian. I love the Orange series reduces to circulate the power of these images and ability to capture community meetings lots the satisfy when the images of the global war and terror resistant readings are possible elements of these images may have been successfully articulated in the anti Guantanamo campaigns to transform the DTs and the Orange series to terrorist torture victims. This is accomplished both through approach of DOD and images of recent movements in order to oppose US detention policies and practices. The Orange series of Guantanamo images contribute to this contest over what Guantanamo means. The image of Guantanamo resulted in the constitution of a new icon of our due successfully mobilized the anti Guantanamo campaign. The community is simply just scaling back and potentially 2000. The uh, detainees have to how to keep the issue in the public eye. Now, this argument blatantly contradicts their framework arguments because it says that we need to obliterate all law. Well, framework is the imposition of the law. It's a voting issue. For one, for advocacy, we should evaluate the entire performance as a static concept. So we feel to generate genuine belief in our position to become happy robots, repeating words in exchange for ballots. It kills genuine resistance and the impact is the one I see. Second, is ethics, ideological contradictions, justify violence. They are equivalent to a white police officer beating a black person, apologizing and going away. The police officer should be punished and so should they. And it creates a choice. Time and strategies, cue, risk of rope and dope and disincentivizes offense. Go to the Nietzsche critique. 
Images of suffering are uniquely productive in the context of Guantanamo, which is a distinction that none of their generic cards assume the one is severe and evidence indicates exposition of the suffering that is enacted upon Guantanamo detainees motivates historically successful activism among Guantan against Guantanamo Bay and the war on terror. It is also indifferently serves to delegitimize the West. Image is a liberal hero whose war on terror is humane and justified. We can disrupt the sanitized image of Guantanamo that people have and then they change their opinions. Most people don't realize the horrors that are going on there. And this means a permutation to both is possible because we can, uh, 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 result about is inevitable. Resisting it only causes us to use it unconsciously. Result can be good if, it's, if it is consciously utilized to change politics that's still written in town. Result should be cultivated. Result is inevitable, so we have to better make not peace with it. It's from the left. We hear the narrative happens in Result of producing the left, giving up harnessing, rather than simply criticizing Result role in tradition of liberal democracy is no small thing. We must be sensitive to the very moment of the deployment of Result The left must give up the utopian hope that the left community around the corner of Result are going to be here for a long time rather than demonizing Result We must accept the Result for many inseparable from freedom. Result of production for subjectivity must give to curse for half a year as vital as for to free from slave morality. Perhaps all we Result as children perhaps it's okay, even if extreme using Result to rid the world of Result against Nietzsche as humans. We are relation to things not self sufficient and dying, vulnerable, really, humans need to decide that the place in the majority itself is reinforced the existential moral loneliness. Uh, the trouble comes when we think we want beyond, beyond Result of when in fact we're just listening to her without realizing it. Go to framework. Counterinterpretation the affirmative should be allowed to have a discussion about the topic rather than topical discussion. It solves a negative often normal debates they want can still happen. Resolve means to reduce your mental analysis. Random house and six resolve determined to reduce your mental analysis. Debate is about this means a debate is about contemplation. It's not a question of the political ramifications of our subsection of the resolution, but the contemplated results of reading that text should means you look to method of advocacy, new Oxford American Dictionary, no date should use to indicate directness when criticizing someone's actions. And economic engagement is an academic analysis of economic areas, bonds and Patterson. Five economic engagement errors detailed analysis. We will consider extent of that, which academic research in teaching or receive to have economic relevance. They don't they don't read an education claim which means the entirety of the one see functions often because education outweighs their limits claims. They're just internal links to education anyway. Dewey and Lacey indicates that the education, their education reduces people to numbers and China's torture and other ethical impacts. The app is a key starting point for topic education. When I see re-evidence indicates Guantanamo is inseparable from the American economic engagement over determines key relations as inherently economic due to associated resources and pure policy education necessitated their interpretation is bad. It devolves to generic hedge advantages, unrealistic extinction-centered impact health and the politics as that and process counter plans, which has two implications. First, debate becomes overly predictable to ground to and education is redundant, which uh, makes their limits claims null anyway. It was topic education, which I always get debates with the USFG mechanism every, every year. The uh, Air Force is engaging on the framework is the normalization of violence. It's evidence of 14. The most important attacks are happening when the state works to unwell education, critical education, by definition, forms political and regional intellectual violence, and no exception to its policies to appoint a structure to conceptual terrain. The annihilation of power and nihilistic proxy through strategies of domination, exclusion to close down to the political sector, difference, violence, appeals, and authority, peaceful sentiment, which already not so much of things speak as an action, the means of an answer, set in advance, a discursive frame is never brought to the question of this affirmative counter challenge of authoritarian violence, such a affirmative reason to pair of orthodoxy in a Political affairs issues, intellectual dogmas, and commitment to open politics with violence is not the attempt to destroy something or refuse to conform. Violence amounts to the death sentence or critical thought. The assault on the university is a continuing and unrelenting force, and there's no topical version of the affirmative because it's a violent affirmation of sovereignty. Like their critique pointed out, we have to refuse the law in all instances. It just functions as a reason why we can't have a topical version of the app. Now, their identification of the resolution as the sole stasis of debate ignores the argumentation can never be confined to a single point of contestation. Sources of disagreement and debate rounds are constantly in flux, which makes predictability impossible. The attempt to limit debate to instrumental affirmation of the resolution leads to exclusionary securitizing logic that produces a Essentialist and violent pedagogy for her, the affirmative inquiry of the resolution that's the uh, uh, Theodora Ka uh, Kaku and Five. Controversy, the product of dialogue, the dialogue with the contradictory utterances, treats ideas of argumentation beyond non reflexes out of incontestable fundamental truth, say logic of difference by its problemization when it considers self to have been involved. The reason to develop classical argumentation theory treats so as a proof of secure identities and understands difference as an arbitrary agent and system viewing ambiguity as a fallacy. Of the judgments as inquiring or the original question, not something opposed to, opposed on the pretense of a question as opposed to argumentation theories that fail to acknowledge the transcending difference in the impossibility of close entities, the rest to be judged results from the dialectic by altering formulation, the problem can be instructed in every proposition the three selling problem belongs to a closed system which has already been judged. Perfect judge. I ran into a Exactly, just representation, proving the representation of the Guantanamo, uh, that Guantanamo are, are good, justify the permutation. Sorry. Why does the why is the permutation justified by the representation? Oh, the pull you make. Yeah. Big, okay. The permutation. I just said the permutation do both, even if they're like, even if there is a link in general, uh, specifically in the context of Guantanamo, our representations of suffering are good, which means that the alternative can be. Okay. Let's talk about the, the other instances. For one of the first arguments made on the on the Nietzsche critique that. The, Green evidence indicates that exposition of the suffering enacted upon uh, Guantanamo detainees motivates historically successful activism. There have been, a there's been, obviously the documentary that you have, or the video that you showed in the 1EC has been out before, and people actually know it's it. one that Nisha created, so it hasn't. Um, okay, even well, there so have also again, the thesis, we, it's not like there's a stopping. Right, I'm getting to that. It's not like there's a stopping point. We're like, oh, 
500 people have seen this video of Guantanamo, we probably don't need to show anybody else. It's a relentless affirmation and reinterpretation of the images of Guantanamo. Because the problem is that most people view them now as a good thing. They say, okay, good, we're getting the terrorists, which denies the fundamental humanity and the sovereign violence that is occurring. That enables so and it's the same justification used for sovereign violence everywhere. We think that our presentation of the images is one that will rupture that understanding and enable a okay, less how do you access and value life impact the main in the JC on the Tommy case where you were like it I mean, was intervention equals uh, causes exposure. Yeah, because the sovereign is the one that has the ability to determine who lives in the Okay, so lives. only through only through shifting away through sovereignty can we solve for the impacts of the attack. Yeah, you have to reject the okay, sovereign. How does the app how does the app how does the app challenge the sovereign? I think I made that pretty explicit when I was describing how our resistance goes to Guantanamo is a function of that. The GUI evidence says that there's not one totalizing movement that resists all sovereignty, but rather we have to act in the positions into which we have been thrown. We think that our Are you thrown into the position of advocating? Well, we're, we're fro thrown into the positions of students and we're in a forum where we're discussing Cuba economic policy. We think the Guantanamo is a specific instance where we can resist sovereignty in a forum like this. Reasons rejected team says that contradiction. Uh, I think that was the only okay. story I reason to reject it. Okay. Um, okay, let's start on framework. How does uh, about the topic solve all of our education or our frank fairness arguments? Because it sets a like good enough limit. That also begs the question of So it's just a reasonability are. argument. How's that? What? Then how do you determine a bright line between apps that are just well, like we're like making the claim that you can't wants. determine a bright line. Our uh, Theodore Kaku evidence makes the claim that there is always new points of contestation uh, emerging from un unpredictable places, which means we can never have the, like an interpretation of the resolution of a sole stasis point. Uh, every argument and debate is already a stasis point, which means that. All right, this time we're going to take some breath. Just like sovereign violence results. Right. Sovereign violence. I also not just that. Can you can you speak? And also
it's going to be a Slovakic and Nietzsche. Going to go for the log hail, but see, there's no length, there's no risk of offense in this flow. Now, contradictions are good for start preparations. Negative flow test plan by any means necessary, so long as we don't go for multiple contradictory arguments. And the two and our cross flag from one contradictory flow to the other is checks all these because there's no risk we use our arguments against them. And second, can negative ground negation theory means we have to prove the plan is a bad idea and they have to defend the plan in the right possible scenario. And third, multiple worlds are good to keep the negative ground flexibility because uh, as a search of best policy happens, we should be able to use any means of proven efficacy, better than the firm to increase strategic thinking. And what's good thinking that way is any form of education and encompasses knowledge that can be used outside of the background. And the potential abuses and voting. The issue is impossible to quantify and the balance instead of present and the abuse is the way uh, in drought abuse is the fairest way to, is the fairest way to judge theory and six year old way worse to reject the argument and not even punishment paradigm reward theory ever sudden is decrease in education and that then uh, first the advocacy impact we're not going for contradictory advocacy probably means there's not a great like this and not a reason to reject the team anyway we're uh, we're kicking it we're kicking the can to two and see it's not uh, it's really not all abuse and then now the ethics impact I think Nietzsche's probably going to access most uh, would uh, probably gonna access any internal link to the ethics impact that's actually, that's actually there but the ethics impact doesn't really matter anyway because uh, because both uh, the case took the stance to go they took the stance that took the stance of some form of an ethical of some form of an ethical of, of, of some form of an ethical impact. We still think that we still think that there are some things that are probably bad and that probably means there's no less the ethics impact Nietzsche. The ballot answers the question to you decide this once more numerable times more. The affirmative says no, they're not satisfied with the current world. This says if they try to change the world, which isn't actually going to be successful, but because even when you want, even if you vote out and try and somehow fix the problem, you're just going to find another problem. Then, then you're just going to find another problem that you don't like. Means somewhat you begin to feel useless. Then you realize your life has no meaning. That causes that causes a hatred for life. Wait, that, that causes a hatred for life. Now you that means you don't let the app guilt you into saying no. You embrace you embrace the world the way it is. You affirm you you affirm faith. The world is the world is fine, and you have to the world is fine, and now and now you. Embracing life, and now you're you're, you're not hating life, and other people not hating life is going to be the biggest internal link into their. It's going to be the biggest internal link to their impact. Now, I'll explain the impact of made of both worlds. If we win the framework to argument, the number of people, the only relevant consideration is going to be avoiding what we're talking about. That means if we win a one percent risk of link, we win. Now, even if they win framework first, they can, even if they make a framework argument in the one AR, win the case solves case alternative is the only world without blame and self hate. That probably means there won't be any risk of people doing things like torturing people in Guantanamo Bay, but because the root of the, the root of things like that, the root of all violence is a hatred of life that causes them to bent on other people to spread the hatred. Of blood. I mean, we probably saw the entirety of the case impacts now. Be it out, whiskey is the bottom It's the only impact. It's the question of the reason we love that, the reason to live. There's no will to survive. That means extinction is irrelevant. And never, that's not value to life. That's meaning of blood. And see, there's no offense. Well, that eventually you only value unique impacts. Means extinction is irrelevant. I, I kind of doubt that he's going to go for that extinction impact. He made the two AC though because there's not really you know, because there's not really uniqueness to it. And it turns the case they don't solve suffering. They just match it and mask it. That's a one and two can it Means they don't have the root. That means they don't mean they just had the root cause of their impacts. And, yeah, and now guilt and now guilt is at the front of force blunders. Systemic impacts on themselves. That causes just not to turn against the broker. 86 glorification. Bruno Von Impulse says you have to suffer from, uh, from life as a worse against as long as men are dying, children are hungry, no one has the right to be advocates. No, there must be almost on whom liberals and we practice the oppressed. That fact the human condition is an imperative. The law of man to rob a river of union is a way that's the ambiguity that contaminates. A system resort from not exist has to be created one that exists has to be accentuated. The worship of doom requires human suffering and wars. And at the stomachs are intolerable, but such pain is necessary because the world without misfortune is also one that has taken the away. It's also one that has taken the place of heaven. The world source for death is still at a single threat. And the systematic burden of life on the global liberals are in love with human. Suffering failure serves a clear warning. You have enjoyed yourself too much. Now, the role of the ballot is to avoid Rosantama. This is best because Rosantama access to the root cause of all their impacts. That was above. And now, now, at first, now, first, the argument they made a talk about about the image of suffering being done in the context of one time away. This isn't super relevant. First of all, it's going to be the link debate. That will be the, the link debate that we're going to the link debate contextualize the link to other parts of the one AC. That's why that's below end anyway. And it doesn't matter if images of suffering are good in the context of one time. It's only a question of your, uh, it's only a question of whether or not, or whether or not you and uh, you, you love your life in the end. And uh, 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 embracing images of suffering. And, uh, embracing images of suffering is exactly the type of thing we critique. You don't embrace images of suffering because then you realize you can't do anything that inevitably causes hatred of life. Now, permutation do both. There's a few problems with this. First, there's no net, but if the app is an impact, means a permutation doesn't have net, but if there's only a risk of negative impact, means you. Oh, actually, really quickly, value life impact made at the top of the 2AC. 
Also, probably access the root cause of death through hatred flight. Now, turn. No, that benefit the app is an impact means perm doesn't have net benefit, there's no risk of negative impact means you default negative. <laughs> second perm is uh, second the permutation is impossible. You can't both, you can't both do both, you can't both vote up, uh, you can't both vote up an affirmative that uh, tries to get you to take a stance against the status quo and then, uh, and then, uh, and then do the alternative, which is literally to ask the question and then answer no and then answer that, you, that yes, the world is fine and do nothing. And the current back itself, there's no middle ground for the motivation that's risky. And then the back reactions are to pull back the chain of the effect that has on feelings into meaning versus suffering has been the problem under the beginning meaning suffering through acknowledging it's necessary role avoidance of suffering is not the Proper attitude given each positive alternative is our head. If you think you need to see that we should no longer see suffering is uh, something to be avoided in the middle position, seek to avoid as far as possible, then to acknowledge its positive aspects. So when it does occur, it's not really to acknowledge it, except suffering positive necessary role. Now, uh, Uncle Cole, go back to the link in a second after I access the old, after I uh, talk about the only the third argument they made. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not Rosantamon is, ne- uh, is inevitable, it doesn't need uniqueness. It's only a question of your meaning to life and whether they, uh, whether hatred blood justifies other impacts. And resisting it doesn't, and resisting uh, Rosantamon doesn't cause, un- doesn't co- unconsciously cause Rosantamon. The idea that you're embracing life and doing nothing can't unconsciously cause resentment because embracing life as a rejection of trying to fix the world means you don't cause resentment. Now, back to Mike's page. Human rights just by wars of extermination. Once the enemy is labeled as the enemy, that's that's right. Competence, uh, concentrates such as freedom. They cease to be full human. They're talking for annihilation. That's Odysseus. And for the history of annihilation, we conceive a new humanity together in a war of miles. Liberal discourse bring about a new uh, unimaginable modes of excluding the humanism. The Schmidt opposes who are false. Of absolute humanity is a null of thought. It's a little close. No clear distinction between what is inside what is outside humanity. Negates its opposite. Humanity excludes the concept of the human because the enemy does not cease to be a human being. Only one man, only one man appears to be the embodiment of absolute humanity. To the other side of the concept of fear and up in the form of a new enemy. The inhuman humanity is both horizon and the positive role of extinction that a horizon. It was negative pole. You can only be something that lies beyond the horizon. You can only, in other words, be human about the concept. It's just enemy. The enemy had no value and could be an enemy. The enemy had no value and could be exterminated. And the notion of our personal ethical orientation is transformed into an overly simplistic substitute for real politics and props up a Western concept of the individual that's brown and that's brown and sits with success of writing the individual subject of self making. So we have agency role and responsibility for itself also contributes to personalizing the political and conflicts and inequalities. Then these tendencies will make the different view from the social race, especially those pertaining to capital race, gender, and sexuality, be constructed with positions such as liberal democracy, addition of Reduction of freedom to rights and equality of equal standing toward law and elimination of any sources of that subordination, marginalization, and equality. The organized liberal democratic society in the past, no subject and identification of belief that has to be more clever and individuality will, with the capacity to make the world, will make the world that's due the calling part to be biological, biographical backstories, and an anecdote. This is a positive substitute for political analyses and considerations of power. We are washing the cut seats and red, just to have these produce just the willpower and hands that you have produce success, and that everything else is the most background context of luxury accidents, the mystery of your child's abuse, after your politics, ideals, personal overplay, the tears and bones, but good, value, good values and bad, and attempts to constrain move towards collective identity or attempted to create a new god of the speaker that's Nietzsche and ADHD man out of these such and such direction bigger than pretty he pants himself on the wall and comments at a homo morality and as far as it condemns for its own sake not out of regard for the concerns and idiosyncrasy and these writings which cause immeasurable harm and the sort of power values is uh, submit to re- refined servility is justification for the pace of faith and supercivity and danger so it's instead we must refuse to inscribe to the civil system and refuse to give our actions higher that's Nietzsche and maybe some talk of duties reach for moral philosophies for some categorical comparative they want to feel it can be accepted servants and answer refined servility close the categorical comparative is immoral moral Enemy of those who wish to derive the duty of its unconditional character and morality weakens the value of life by corralling and breaking it down and inspiring beauty and creates that value and weakness and pity, fostering sickness, degeneration, degeneration of life that's Nietzsche and each center all time morality is empty and improvement, improvement that's been both tiny and beast and man for eating a particular kind of man called the taming animal and it's important and it's improvement sounds almost like a joke to argue because all the physiologists begin the struggle with beasts, making them, making them sick, maybe the only way to make them weak the church understood this is sick and weaken the man by doing so improve them. Now morality is anti natural, it's counterintuitive to dial human impulse and nature intended to impose a will within the self the name of her to justify the hurt of the self that's Nietzsche. In 87, when we ever win morality, we found evaluation the order uh, rank the impulses and activities. These are always the expression of the hurt. Every individual is taught to describe himself. The value only is function. Now, all the links are dissatisfied. The permutation probably means he isn't going to be able to go to the permutation. We will go for the permutation because I literally just spent like four minutes on links. Okay. Um, what is exactly the articulation of the root cause argument? Sure, it's the idea that the hatred of life and the idea that I'm meaningless justifies and justifies any type of atrocity towards other people. Why? Sure, it's, it's like, okay, I'm meaningless, nothing I do matters, I can do whatever I want because nothing I do is actually going to matter. Why is, that, why is it true that when we find new problems, we don't think anything we do matters? Uh, sure, it's, not, it's, the idea of the, it's the idea of the infinite chain of problems, right? So sure. Josh, okay. but Josh votes app, he solves Guantanamo. Then you read, then, or rather, I guess... Where does the app claim that we are the end point of resistance, or that there should be an end point? 
I don't think the app needs to claim that. The idea that you present a problem and think, oh, we should solve this problem is the articulation. Why of doesn't the app acknowledge that, yes, there will continually be problems? You are but why is that a reason to not resist solve your app? What? If you're not the endpoint, then you do not solve your app. Well, we don't think endpoints exist in sorry, resistance you, sorry, to sovereignty. We don't know that endpoints exist in the resistance to sovereignty. Right, so, so I guess I'm saying, being... why is it true that like we get frustrated when we don't fix every problem? When we recognize from the outset that we cannot fix every problem by ourselves. Sure, it's the idea that he gets frustrated in particular when he's not able to solve Guantanamo and when Juma al Dasari keeps getting tortured and then that spills up into every app that fit, like, every critical app Bishop Gurdon I'd like to talk about your Bruckner argument. This is from a book called Tears of the White Man, which is basically says that Western guilt is preventing the US from fixing other parts of the world. It's basically an interventionism good argument. Why is this like uh sure, more yeah, sure. It's the idea that able to read. I'm confused. Sorry, can you repeat the question? I mean, I think it's Bruckner's argument is kind of morally repugnant. I'd like to see you try to defend it. It's, I don't think it's morally repugnant the way we're trying to read it. We're not de necessarily defending that U.S. interventionism is a good thing. We're defending that, for, that forcing that blame on white, systemic impacts for yourself causes causes Zogmar. That's like the thesis of the guilt of that. It's functionally a cross-application of the overview, like down to a terms of case argument. Okay. Uh, the role of the ballot on the role of the ballot claim, uh, you say that the role of the ballot is to avoid resentment. Sure. But then you go on to say that it doesn't matter if resentment is inevitable. I'm kind of confused as to how these two assertions can exist simultaneously. All right. Sure. Roll the ballot just to avoid resentment. We should tr we should try to avoid resentment. Resentment, the, the inevitability of resentment isn't a question because even so if it, why if doesn't that just recreate resentment when we're frustrated that resentment is inevitable? We can never avoid it, and it just generates more. I don't see why this is circular. Because if we can't do because it's not like we should the roll the ballot isn't like avoid resentment isn't like run away from resentment. It's avoid resentment in the context of we should embrace life and realize that. The world isn't perfect, and that's how it needs to. But stay. if it's but if it's inevitable, doesn't that mean that we will get frustrated with ourselves for not being able to avoid resentment in that way? Uh, I don't think it really does. Although I'm not really sure. That's I fine. What's the human rights link? I don't know where the app posits human, in, uh, human, rights. human rights. Here, uh, Odysseus link. All right, sure. I think the app posits human rights in the context of like showing a whole video about Jim Alvisari. Like, he's being tortured. This is a human rights violation. This needs to stop. Uh, sent. It's just going to be uh, case. What did you think? Just case. And I received it. The two is even not spend enough time on the task force solve the entirety of the app, extend the task all evidence that pressure is causal bomb to lighten up and take him out. And then he would be to this solve the impacts of the firm and we cannot go back in time and change the torture, so we might as well use pragmatic policies now. There is no reason to find out because even if reading poems of videos about Gitmo is good, they already did that and there's nothing left to solve. Can see no can see can see no uh, no terrors which the Mueller effort which means there's no incentive to keep gone time over which 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 uh, uh, builds or uh, builds are uh, built for the status quo the status quo evidence and Obama will close on time of this Cornwall and seven five two. Well, there's a new family of the Vavada close upon time of Iraq Obama said to sign himself, uh, as, as sign himself a list of all the possible ways to figure that take the present population down to zero bomb and plant uh, on uh, Tuesday that it was untenable to keep the 11 year old camp open and new PRB uh, PRB board solves the entirety of the app that Chesney 10 uh, 10 uh, 10 9. It appears to be to revive the period of a few boards that's match GTMO. The uh, GTMO that we have in a few once every three years to come to have the option of representation by private counsel. The PRB will, will, will not consider information that is derived from torture agencies. TTNEs will be allowed to submit what is this to our reasonably uh, available. The PRB, PRB process will establish a review whether we continue to issue certain detainees and leave Guantanamo Bay. Main such the PRB process may, makes an important contribution toward the administration goal of Guantanamo Bay by introducing a principle, a principle and anticipable process for reviewing and releasing prior extension. 
<laughs> the determination to select the current system of intelligence and identifying whether whether additional detainees may be designated for transfer. The department remains committed to close one time of the other Department of Defense and administering discretionary administrative energy to prosecute a review whether they continue to sanity remain necessary and they can't solve and they can't solve and they have the president's judge the president's just get transferred. So all the human rights abuse impacts are notable. That's the HRF evidence from the one and to the close one time doesn't solve any that's probably five thirty. If one can show that living in Cuba is improper and long term incarcerated people without trial along with techniques like waterboarding behind the uh why did the US and the US out of the prison camp on the Cuba Cuban ship and are not being shot by a bucket no in the metaphorical sense we never really close north in America nor on terrorism about the end of bombs retaining abroad power due to as you as you can or kills us that these to conduct aggressive surveillance and to use military force and coordinations and status quo result in the app of the app fails and or on terrorism clips climbing down the status quo that's currently five twenty four Obama now higher standards for for drone strike to you reiterate gone time prison should be close to the new I should make that long delay go reality authorization of use of forty seven military force by blood and the city repeated the law repealed eventually gone from itself is the problem is a positive behind him indefinite detention but you Obama plan or a plan will be leaving the third fifth fifty persons in the state with the definite touch of these prisoners who can never be charged in court can be a buddy has not offered a clear plan for what we to do with the prisoners who cannot be charged by my man that may have to live with someone who has a moral compromise they do not spend enough time in the sovereignty could debate proportion of the in the two AC he just said this doesn't apply but that's not enough for what they, they, they conceded the link in the process with me we're gonna we're, it's only gonna be question of the impact which they've not had a defense of sovereignty in the two AC or in the one AC which means you're only valuing you're only valuing the debate through so, uh, but through uh, abandoning sovereignty it's bad that's a myriad of vote for evidence collapse of sovereignty result in violent conflict and genocide that turns the entire case of bombing to case of sovereignty finally just going to remove the replacement of the world and nation by the supernatural order is one but and not the most certain in the scenario so it does not necessarily follow, uh, follow that they summon total violence including violence with essentially genocidal consequences will diminish violence they only be de- regularly descended from the state community and have an evidence that into this usual frame of the churches that society may be able to return to the explosive manifestations of local community and violence will be born and violence will go on living many enemies who threaten the risk and enemies to collectively persecuted and tortured and mutilated and abandoning sovereignty uh, sovereignty risk the loss of freedom that's the MNI vote by the government and the state of Rivier for Lerman might miss out of the loss but never practice them dare not caution to exactly the, against this sort of uncritical gesture to abandon a decision that sovereignty um, conditionally opposing to sovereignty is not only unreasonable but it's also against classical principles of freedom and self-determination uh, which alone have become the capability to vulnerable work against a certain, a certain uh, international ideological uh, religious uh, uh, capitalist and linguistic hegemonies to safety well, that, that would be uh, that, that would be a little more than a market he did not spend, he, yes he answered that breath matter in the focus of Bonsoir but we are not going for this as a defensive argument we are going for it as an impact turn to their frame and they've conceded the, uh, they've conceded the offensive part of the tap from that argument this is an impact turn to their frame three reasons well, one representation focus and negative intellectual punishment only to recognize the discourse of isolated academics and the conditions of that discourse and two it removes focus from the contextual uh, uh, historical and cultural realities are television news that even if we solve for even if they solve for the uh, for the apple won't be dealing with racism sexism and genocide etc and three causes failure focusing on discourse means there's no pragmatic action takes place and now like, allowing inhumanity to continue undisturbed and discourse of, uh, for a uh, focus ignores material con- uh, uh, condition and structure this turns the back uh, only pra- uh, more pragmatic approach solves that's Riccio's in law and uh, pretty recent is produced on material changes every day every to tell us any more about the false consciousness than it was already known that such a resistance to ignore the role of material conditions and happen to share identity as in a broader political struggle ground exists is learned discuss the practice of neither also material uh, conditions don't challenge uh, nor directly challenge while structures argument against forms of resistance is recognized to the continued real existence of an identifiable power uh, power groups mark that a power groups and a focus on discourse and abandonment of real change we must use material as a focus to resolve oppression as class one minimum class based interests are opposed to as opposed to understanding class is just another discussion we produce identity that tells you meager cultural forms of macro level social transformation. Uh, 
framework argument, and then the UTI cookie. Okay. You mean like by the, the contradiction framework? Um, framework, just framework. I think contradictions was on the lock. Yeah, so it's case, which uh, framework. terrorists sustained through the sanitization and violence in the public sphere the one sees resist in reading Guantanamo resist the uh, whitewashing that creates a docile populace and activates agency to resist sovereign violence that means it's try or die for the firm they have not answered the fundamental thesis of the Gali evidence which is that sovereign violence uh, more generally as explained by government is the ability to uh, is the right to let die that exists to exclude life based off of lines of race class gender way of life they have not contested the ethics of the morality of that the Gali evidence says that there's a global counter movement of ferrying now it's a question of whether or not the one sees takes that to debate in terms of how we uh, interpolate images of Guantanamo here that proves that uh, proves two things. A is that, uh, a, a is that re resistance is impossible, which takes out the fundamental thesis of the need to critique. B is that forms of things like racism and sexism, you should have a moral obligation to resist that. More form of moral obligation is better because who cares if you might get angry at yourself in the process. The, uh, line by line, the fear they have conceded in epistemology and the fear and evidence indicates that their uh, form of technical knowledge, the, the, the uh, technical way of describing the way Guantanamo might lighten up or why pragmatic policies might uh, alleviate some of the suffering is the narrative of sovereign power that fear and evidence indicates that only critical interrogation and a re-reading of Guantanamo with provide the images of the one who is able to adequately describe this, which means this does not offense for them their uh, terrorism, no incentive argument. The reading of this in the one who obviously proves that people think terrorism exists, which means the one who is necessary uh, to resist that narrative, which is the twisty piece of fear and evidence. Now their argument that Obama will close it, this evidence does not say anything. It just says that there was some amount of prisoners might reduce. This is the same promise that Obama made in 2008. This is the filed promise of the law. Our argument is that the law is always suspended because of the normalization of the state of exception. If they have not contested that claim, then they cannot win any of these arguments. They say prisoners get transferred. That does not assume that the one who is a broader resistance, a uh, broader resistance sovereign power, which would be able to challenge that now. The sovereignty debate, all of this evidence is in the context of the sovereignty of the nation state, not a government's conceptualization of sovereign power, which means as long as we win the, they have to win the one he literally destroys the existence of governments for them to win all of these arguments that is the context of the Bauman argument there's no we control the internally to genocide via the process of inclusion exclusion described by the Gully evidence the freedom impact is not unique it's a question of freedom for whom Guantanamo uh, detainees do not have that freedom now their reading of this freedom impact proves they link to the Nietzsche cake because they are still bound to those ideals of freedom and resisting genocide which proves why they are imbued with the resentment themselves and why that is inevitable in the first place, the discourse debate, they uh, cannot win any of their offense without winning the defensive portion of these arguments. We answer their paralysis argument because discourse shapes the physical conditions that enable that, which means we do not result in paralysis. Their argument about abandonment real change proves why they are also imbued with uh, resentment and a desire to change the world because the assumption is that uh, change is good. They are merely contesting the one sees method of changing that. However, they've conceded discourse shapes material conditions, so we resolve that. Go to the Nietzsche critique. You should uh, challenge their privilege to just sit here and consume information, relationality, and solidarity with victims of the war and terror who die uh, every day is what we should strive for. We, those are the people who cannot afford to be passive. They have really not contested the thesis of the app, which is that mo images of suffering are able to generate uh, solidarity by the 1AC's political text that rereads the images of Guantanamo as images of, as, as instances of sovereign violence. Now, there's no internal link to any of the resentment impacts because the app is not utopianism. There's no internal link 
to self-eat because we can accept that perhaps some degree of suffering could be inevitable, but accepting things like racist, gendered, and classist forms of violence is fundamentally un unethical, and uh, we can create some degree of change. They have not contested the virulent evidence which indicates the AF is a part of a broader movement that's also the ghouly evidence. Now, Rizantamod is not the root cause. They have not contested the thesis of sovereign violence, which is that the ability to draw lines between inclusion and exclusion is the root cause of modern forms of violence, the hatred of life. It's a question of what forms of lives do we hate? Our argument is that well, our conceptualization of life in the first place is, is imbued with racist ideas and ideologies. Now, the alternative obviously does not resolve in any of the AF because it's a form of bullshit intellectual nihilism where we just sit on our hands and do nothing. Now, the Rizantamod, the Dolgrid evidence is really where they lose this debate. You need to hate yourself to change yourself. Rizantamod and self-hate more generally make us change in debate and outside of debate. Rizantamod is inevitable because of a social order that is based on racist classes. Finally, it tells us we are all for people for being complicit in that system. That means it's try or die to utilize that Rizantamod productive. We will always have a conceptualization of violence that causes guilt. They can't do anything. That's proven by the case debate. Now, their blame impact, we do not, res we not uh, uh, that form of blame is good. That was impact turned above. The role of the ballot should be who, does, uh, who best actually need to resist sovereign violence. There. We are impact turning all of their arguments. The permutation, I'm not going for it. We are impact turning the alternative. Now, the Odysseus evidence is obviously impact turned by the Gully evidence. Uh, inclusion, exclusion is a more insidious form of violence. It is the root cause of extermination that was explained on the case debate. There's no link to any other, uh, of the root of the human rights links. We are not a, that form of political method, but out of some degree of the conception of the individual is necessary because we need to understand how we are complicit in forms of violence.
it is going to be uh, Nietzsche and then the choice. And not going to go for Nietzsche. The permutations are generated. Not permutations. They have no risk of offense on this flow. There is no risk of. There's no risk of offense. Chaos conditional. They, they, chaos conditional. I don't have to go for it. No risk of off. No real. No real risk of offense. If anything, Rosanthemont good turns apply to them because they made the argument that they don't link them. Said freedom clubs. Rosanthemont. Anyway, case. Going for the Taft Kaufman decided there are a few uh, there are a few implications of Taft Kaufman. First is that discursive function of focus causes intellectual impoverishment means nothing actually gets done because uh, another means nothing actually gets done because there's no no major changes happen post the when you do but when you focus on discourse that's the thesis of intellectual impoverishment is that is that, uh, the thesis of intellectual impoverishment is that is that focusing on discourse for, uh, focusing on discourse prevents any form of solvency from so uh, prevents any form of solvency from doing something like standing up and reading about Jumal Dasari and reading the poem. Now the second implication is that it removes us from uh, is that it removes it said, focus on discourse removes us from reality. We realize uh, fo when you focus on discourse, you realize that we are only four white kids in a room in the middle of Utah. Probably uh, in the middle of Utah, focus on discourse means we can't actually think about Guantanamo because it removes us. I mean, it removes us from reality. Means there's very low. Means there's very low risk of solvency. Now discursive. Uh, now discursive focus also ignores material. Now, uh, now also now we're, and now extend the regular rigos of Rigago's mod. That discursive focus also ignores materialities and can uh, ignores material uh, conditions or uh, in reality. Means there's really means. There's very little or no risk that they're going to solve their app, but because we, in a world where we win defense and you know, where we're winning it, we're winning at least some risk of defense and offense to discourse. There is only a reason to there's only a reason to vote negative on presumption, and you're going to vote negative on presumption anyway. You can extend uh, you're going to vote negative on presumption anyway. You can extend the status quo solve stuff that was at the top of one AR to one AR. He tries to know only by saying that the status quo doesn't solve because there are uh, because it's just empty promises first attempt task call pressure is caused to bottom lighten up get all already and then human rights abuse that solves any impact of the app. We can't go back in time and change tortures. We may as well use pragmatic policies now. There's no reason to vote out the the freaking poems or videos out Guantanamo's skin. They did that, but there's no they did that, but there's very little or uh, but there's very but there's very little or nothing left to solve. Now extend that now it means it's already getting close. So the only power to me has here is that it's an empty promise. If it's already getting close, it's getting closed, it disproves the thesis that it's an empty promise. Now extend the Cornwell, it's sudden evidence that Obama's going to close it now. That Obama's going to close it now. Extend Chesney evidence that they didn't explicitly answer then the new PR report solves that means even if there's risk that Obama is only making an empty promise. It's still uh, even if there's only risk that even if Obama is there's risk that Obama's only making an empty promise. There, it's still the PRB board which was put in place, which definitely solves for torturing Guantanamo Bay. That was a Chesney evidence indicates that it's not going to consider uh, it's, uh, it means the PRB isn't going to consider information that is derived from torture. It means there it means there's not any incentive to it means there's not any incentive to still torture that it has still torture detainees and last but not and now uh, and now. And last but not least, I'm going to go very briefly to the sovereignty good stuff. Even if we don't really win a major risk of offense on the uh, on, on the discourse this side that I did above, there are a few impacts to sovereignty. First of all, the sovereignty his uh, the the line he drew between their type of sovereignty and our type of sovereignty. And the one AR wasn't made until the one AR. You can probably, probably reject it. Put uh, you probably reject it. Makes the two and makes the two and R significantly harder because Water wasn't able to respond to it in the one and R, but because it just wasn't there. Now anyway, all of our evidence is in the context of the type of sovereignty he talks about. First, extend the Miras for evidence that abandoning sovereignty causes extinction, even if it doesn't cause extinction, which was definitely an argument the 2AC, it definitely causes mass violence, which probably outweighs the uh, which probably outweighs the app when they've considered which probably outweighs the app when they have a very low risk of solvency and a very high risk that the uh, status quo solves. Now extend the Bowman 2K evidence, collapse of sovereignty results in violent conflict and genocide, probably probably turns any risk of terror of uh, torture anyway, because in a violent in, in the type of violent war that the Bowman evidence talks about, uh, uh, things like prisoners of war contained, go uh, think about Vietnam to the Vietnam torture still happen, uh, uh, torture still happen, we access and in, in turn went to torture. Through the Bowman evidence of sovereignty, it's uh, uh, through on the sovereignty piece. And now, it's the last now, least extend the damn eye evidence, even if they win the, the even if they win the two types of sovereignty are distinct. Damn eye is definitely in the context of, of the government sovereignty. Now, it is against the abandoning sovereignty, red sovereignty, risk the loss of freedom. This is pretty important. The idea that uh, this is pretty important turns the thesis of the app. The idea uh, that one of the major ideas for put forward in the one is the idea that they don't have freedom now. That's the reason they're being that's one of the reasons they're being tortured and turns the entirety of the app. And loss of freedom is a bad and loss of freedom is a reason to vote negative by itself in a world without freedom we have no reason we have no reason to live there, there, we have no reason to live probably uh, we have no reason to live and we, we're all we all functionally live as slaves now um epistemology and diet 
Epistemology and that doesn't really apply because we didn't go for that because we didn't go for the argument that the epistemology and that talked about and all and, 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 we didn't go for the argument the epistemology and that talked about and was about the epist it only talked about the fact that the epistemology and that was one of those saying that the war on terror is a good thing we didn't go for war on terror good probably means there's no link but anyway epistemic ground is a drug we don't need absolute truth that's enough bomb and that can we get rid of transcend metaphors we're not looking for the abyss we have everything exchange of reasons and argument for reasons are historical we hold some things to be good and bad arguments sound and not sound the guy will have to extreme relativism seem to be a deep attachment to metaphysical reality and it's the only one who has been everything to hope the class will seem to entail the class of all evaluation. More questions. I'll send this to you all quickly. 5 makes the trier diaframing for the affirmative very persuasive, especially considering they have not contested the affirmative solvency mechanism throughout the entirety of the debate. They've only made status quo solves arguments, which are distinct as long as we win our discourse arguments and win that there's some chance that sovereign, pa sovereign power and sovereign violence is bad, then it's an easy ballot for the affirmative. The di I'll do the discourse arguments first. There is the, 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 the lens through which you should view all of the discourse arguments is specificity to the issue at hand, which is Guantanamo. None of their arguments are specific, which means you default to all of ours. I didn't have to read any new cards of this on the 2AC because our 1AC is specifically built to answer these are, are the thesis of the affirmative is that the images of Guantanamo are sanitized now. The media representations are ones that view us as promoters of human rights that follow the Geneva Convention that do the, 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 do the things and meet the standards necessary in order for Guantanamo to be a safe place where we just interrogate people nicely and just get information from them when the reality is, but when the reality is actually masked, the exposition of the video that the 1AC presents is an attempt to reframe dominant conceptions of what Guantanamo is and what goes on there in order to generate sympathy and compassion and generate 
civic activism to stop the stop those things. It's obviously a sensical argument that if people don't recognize there's a problem, they're not going to do anything to change that problem, which is what they don't seem to uh, they don't seem to which is what none of their arguments seem to presume. It is it is we are the necessary precondition for material focus. We are the necessary precondition for any material focus or activism because we you need to recognize what the problem is and recognize ways that you can challenge it. The beer and evidence says that the exposition of images reframes public minds, things like the exposition of them in their orange jumpsuits, the torture, pictures of the torture that they go through, poems like ours from Juma al Dorsi are all things that motivate action in the future, which means that we are fundamentally material. There's also a problem because the one in arc explicitly conceded the discourse defense. He said he was only going for the offense. However, their offense presumes that they are winning the defense. Their offense presumes that they are winning the defense. The defense is that there is no distinction between the material and the discursive in the context of Guantanamo because they are mutually constitutive of each other. If they concede this defense, they can't win that we aren't doing anything material because the discourse and materiality are one in the same in this context. Uh, we should uh, This is, should be sufficient to resolve other arguments. The Viren evidence is just better than theirs in the context of Guantanamo, which is what this debate is about. It means you prefer the affirmative specificity. Uh, his next... Oops, I missed something. Now his next arguments about why his next arguments about the status quo solves are also are also incorrect because they presume that the goal of the end point of the affirmative is just the closure of Guantanamo, which is obviously not the case we've been articulating throughout the entire debate. We can't rely on the law to resist sovereign logic any longer because it does always fail. Their arguments that say Obama is going to close it are from early 2013. Look, he hasn't done anything now. He promised the same thing in 2008 when he ran for president, and he still hasn't done anything. How many blah, how many broken promises are we going to have to wait before we realize that the law doesn't work? We can't rely on it. We have to have active resistance outside we need to present images of the suffering on Guantanamo to motivate action from the externals. Uh, they also don't answer the ghoulie cl the evidence, uh, the claim that the ghoulie evidence makes it means we, we have to act within the subject positions into which we are thrown just because there are other institutions that might be able to do something to resolve the problem doesn't mean we sit idle while we wait for them to change it. We have to act from the position as debaters. We, have a we are thrown into a forum where we are discussing things like economic policy toward Latin America and Cuba and we think that the interrogation of Guantanamo as a space of exception is a necessary uh, discussion that is largely not going on right now and is largely ununderstood by a majority of the public. We as students and debaters in this fear can change that and um, uh, pr promote activism. Their arguments about the, uh, the political review board also fall into the same logic because it's just a bureaucratic mechanism that says we are going to see whether the, the, the we are going to see whether those terrorist suspects in Guantanamo are doing what is right we're going to allow them to submit witnesses who are reasonably available. It's just more bureaucracy which, mean, which means that what's never going to happen we can't rely on the law. Go to solve uh, and yes. Yeah, Western New Geneva can it's literally, it's just a new Geneva Convention which we have already broken in the, uh, but purportedly adhere to in the public eye. Uh, it replicates the same logic. Now the impact, proper debate, the sovereignty, good sovereignty, good arguments aren't going to get them anything. Aren't going to get them anything because it's a question. Uh, they, they don't have any internal link. We have the only ones articulating that when the sovereign has the ability to determine life, which is what the definition of sovereign power is. Agamemnon's definition of sovereign power is the ability to determine who lives and who dies. When they have that power, they can uh, exclude groups. It creates classism, sexism, racism, and enables all modern forms of oppression. It is that power, that power to decide who is valuable, that enables that they, however, have no internal link. To their arguments about why saw uh, you uh, get uh, elimination of sovereign power creates more violence. They just say it eliminates freedom. Really, I'm not sure how that happens. I don't think it just goes away. They have to win an internal link to this claim. They also just because the, the Mike made a new analysis argument about the, the, their, the forms of sovereignty and the cards that they were reading in the one hour doesn't one hour doesn't mean they have to answer it. It's about it's about uh, international relations and state sovereignty, which isn't the affirmative. Only we uh, only the affirmative is resistant reading Guantanamo, which can actively challenge the sovereign logic. The epistemology and it also still applies. It's very specific to the neocons that purport their evidence. It's from uh, beer and it says that it's just neocons citing neocons. What Nietzsche? There's no, uh, uh, there's no. The, we don't link to the horizontal arguments because they don't articulate a coherent.
just kind of broadly, like you kept kicking out of the thing that I thought you were doing the best on, um, starting the one and see like, uh, first of all, I don't think they had a really good reason why they were topical. Uh, so I, I was like banking on the one in our framework argument. Um, then after the block, like I thought you did a good job at isolating the um, debate around the value to life. Like the 2AC made the concession, like value to life is what uh, is important. And I think that that takes away the a lot of the affirmative's ability to say we make material change, we're heroes, we're, you know, all the stuff that seems very, all of the 1AR Nietzsche cards that seem to be very, cause a lot of friction with uh, some of the 1AC claims. Um, because one, I don't, you know, I don't know that they get to a lot of material change, at least not very quickly. And if they've agreed on a value to life impact, it seems like the radical individualization of, in just terms of perspective on the way we choose to evaluate our own lives seems like the quickest and strongest internal link to value life. And I didn't think that the 1AR was particularly good uh, on that point. I thought that, uh, you know, he did a fine job on some of these other questions, like the lack of desirability of Nietzsche as a concept. But through the, the lens of value to life being what's important, it seemed like, like, have a different perspective seemed to be you know, I thought you were doing a decent job uh, proving that the, your alternative could solve uh, a lot of the discursive aspects of the, the 1AC claims. So um, I thought I, it wouldn't have been necessarily a slam dunk because it would really have had to centralize through that lens of value to life and just and just focus on the strongest internal link there. But I thought I thought you were doing better. Right. Um, in terms of what it came down to, case just seemed like there was an overall lack of explanation about how your how your evidence interacted with uh, their evidence. Um, the the place that this debate, in my opinion, should have come down to was your offense, and that was what you chose to spend the least amount of time on um, in the two and R. And in the one and R, it didn't seem like there was good explanation about how these things uh, uh, interact very well. Um, I went through. Uh, I went through the evidence and you know, I, I think you have some uh, potential for some interesting arguments here. Like your 1NC Moreras evidence uh, doesn't really say much and definitely doesn't say that you cause like the end of the world in terms of extinction. Like it says um, the principle of sovereign exception is possible uh, without risking the collapse of the political into an eschatology of the end of the world which is the same as the eschatology of the radical origin, to be liberated from the structure of sovereignty is to be returned to the natural state of innocence. So the end of the world meant like a return to the, the, state, of, uh, the state of innocence. And then, it, then the next part of the, the piece of evidence went to say like, um, now it's possible that a new form of politics would not include, a, or after kind of a reset in the state of nature, it might not include the political, but the political can kind of be positive in that it limits antagonism but promotes maybe productive antagonism. So I think that's kind of what you should have been talking about instead of just saying it like tagline leads mm -hmm. to extinction. Um, and then and then you have like a competing argument that isn't a, as susceptible to their look, this doesn't apply, this is what our sovereignty means, they haven't explained what their sovereignty means, we don't think this. Uh, so the totally uh, takes away the spin factor, especially because uh, you all were like, you know, the one the one in our evidence is specific to Agamben. Well, this piece of evidence is specific to uh, Agamben also, this one in C evidence, and it's kind of referencing uh, a Derridian um, response uh, to Agamben. Um, and I'm not sure if, if this, uh, article is like a straw person because it doesn't seem to take a stance it's just like well Derrida says uh, uh, Agamben but um, it, it's, it's a minimum descriptive uh, in terms of your bomb and 2k evidence uh, the, war the warrant to this which is also never explained uh, is like no state gov means international world gov mm -hmm. um, and so that could have provided like a, a credible warrant like if you get rid of sovereignty the the, in, the intent 
could be a larger form of sovereignty, small sovereignty good versus the risk of larger sovereignty. And you know that kind of gap, gap filling was not a warrant that was uh, credibly developed either. And the last one is uh, your Damai evidence that you yeah. reference is specific to uh, Agamben is definitely so. And uh, instead of saying that this is a risk or loss of freedom, it kind of says that state institutions are needed to check the excesses of capitalism. I would have gone for that type of angle. Like, you know, not only do we risk world gov, we also risk uh, corporate fill-in, um, and then kind of impacted that argument. But as is, like, I didn't know what this freedom meant versus their freedom. It just seemed like a, there was an overall lack of uh, explanation when it came right. to these evidence. And, and a deprioritization, like, you, you know, you put it on the bottom, I think you got here with like 57 seconds left, and this was like your, your primary uh, evidence besides it trying to win the debate, just like <coughs> Toff Kaufman discourse doesn't mean anything. Um, so I think there was potential here to be very good, um, but I think that you needed to know what the pieces of evidence said and you need to explain them in the context of what uh, the affirmative did, which would have gotten around kind of their um, somewhat, you know, vague like spins. About, I, I just think they were slightly better, not good, but slightly better at articulating what their version of sovereignty is. And I didn't think that your level of explanation about these pieces of evidence, a, didn't provide a warrant to why the impacts were such. And I thought uh, Ben did a good job in the two way hour saying that. Um, but B, uh, sh shaping what you meant by sovereignty and linking it to, to what they meant by sovereignty. Um, in terms of the dis, the, in terms of uh, just the discourse proper, um, it's, it's not, for me, uh, I am sympathetic to the two hours like specificity on the question of Guantanamo, but that's not what got me. I I'm honestly was disappointed that this is where the two and I started because I, I didn't think that you all ever answered um, the the argument that discourse and reality are intertwined, and discourse and real discourse shapes reality. Um, it was just kind of like if we prioritize discourse, then we're always going to get stuck in discourse, and it's just like this generic uh, generic argument about that. And I think that the one AR was pretty well, not pretty well, it was like good on the differentiation of it shaping uh, shaping reality, and that the two. Are intertwined, and so you can't you can't separate it and say what well, if you just focus on discourse because uh, discourse uh, discourse shapes reality. Right. And I think that uh, th there's two two different forms of uh, post structuralist thought when it comes to discourse. There's there's only discourse, you know, like the Baudrillard simulacra were all in discourse, and then there's uh, a more conservative argument that discourse shapes reality that. That obviously materialism happens, but the way that we talk and represent things can actually change attitudes. And I felt like there, there's li there literally we're talking about like a movement, like like a material get people together and you know challenge the ideas of uh, Guantanamo Bay. And so I felt like the your level of analysis seemed to be more applicable to getting lost in discourse as opposed to uh, using it as a means to challenge material. Uh, reality, and I think that's more what they were talking about. Beyond this, it's also you know largely a defensive argument, mm -hmm. and you would have, you know had to win like they literally yeah. can't do anything. Did you um, end up evaluating any of like the PRB stuff or the? Um, I mean, we weren't we weren't expecting to win. Are you talking about status quo solves? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that, so. I'm getting it. Oh, okay. There, there, there were three arguments okay. in the okay. two, and okay. I'm going to get to all of them. Uh, the, the last one uh, were, these, were these arguments about the status quo is going to, to solve things. Again, entirely, uh, entirely defensive, and I think that you needed to win uh, a, a risk of your sovereignty impact terms in order to, to win these arguments. However, uh, I don't think that these answer the larger uh, thesis of sovereignty, which is why you needed to win your sovereignty arguments. So if they win, that they have a larger project than just Guantanamo Bay, but actually challenging their version of sovereignty, then I think that these matter much less because Guantanamo Bay is an instance and not the only instance. And I think that their uh, affirmative is targeted towards a larger aspect of it. Uh, I do think that uh, you win that things are getting somewhat better. 
Um, but I also think that they're right about, you know, codes are made to be broken. This is already a night of sovereignty and false promises. But I, I, I think you win on the specificity level of some of these arguments. But again, I just feel like it's defensive in nature. So much would have rather seen framework with fairness because honestly, I thought the 2AC didn't get to framework with a good amount of time. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think that neg education arguments on framework are all that good, but I think they're sufficient to win a lot of defense generally in theory. And uh, fairness is, I don't, I don't think they're going to have a lot of game there. Even if, Maybe what uh, was it LS that in it, that was just like we don't need framework we'll, we'll go for T mm -hmm. because Guantanamo Bay is, it's not economic engagement so even if like you, you want to question sovereignty in the context of our relations with Cuba you can do that without talking right. about Guantanamo Bay which is not an econ uh, a mode of economic engagement I'm sure they have some we need answers about like we pay Cuba money that they don't cash for but that's lame I mean this is is not economic engagement. Um, and then I think that there was a way to win this Lucha debate. I do. Uh, I couldn't figure out the way that the, the, the case specific K uh, <laughs> interacted with the AF, but I was interested. Like, yeah. I was interested in that level of research and uh, able to articulate it. Um, AF, uh, a couple things. I think, another, I think you could have won some external offense uh, in the 2AR. Um, by, by continuing some of the lines that the 1AR did about like not compartment, compartmentalizing representations and said, you said, you know, war on terror are good. You said some of these other forms of sovereignty are good. These have discursive implications. So that these are linked to your version of the status quo. Um, so continuing some of the offensive criticisms you've made against their other forms of uh, uh, discourse, I thought, you know, could have given you something this side in the instance that they're kind of going for the squo. Um, yeah, I, okay, Agamben has a critique of Amor Fati, where he specifically uh, divert, div diverges from um, what Nietzsche says. I, I might cut that against Nietzsche because I do think it was, I think some of your Nietzsche answers, it's just like you're going as if you have a straight up AF trying to solve a bunch of lives and things like that, and it seems like you know, you have a, it, it, it seems like you don't do that. What was he, uh, what was he called? Uh, Agamben criticism of Amor Fati. I mean, I, if you if you look it up in those search terms, I think, uh, I think you'll find it. Um, uh, it was something I read like in 2003. So that's the reason that I'm not, you know, like, oh, this yeah, and this and this, yeah. Uh, Trying to think what else. I'd be careful for the for exactly the reason I talked to about you know collapsing, especially when you have an app that you attempt to float uh, and you know move move away from different areas of competition. I think that focusing the debate in the two AC around the question of value to life seemed premature, especially with uh, you know them going for an argument that might access that a lot easier than it would accessing uh, a utilitarian impact. So, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. Good job uh, on the case arguments and mm -hmm. congratulations on the W. Thought you guys were pretty sweet. What, what year are you all? Sophomores. Sophomores? Sophomores? Yeah. Good. Good. Look forward to seeing a lot more of you. Oh, hey, I got a speaking thing for you real quick. You, 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 you're kind of larger in yeah. stature, and when you speak, you speak small. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like you shrink. Uh, I would kind of use that stature and speak louder and have more eye contact, and instead of doing this, like, you know, yeah. use that large presence. I mean, okay. it's, it's uh, you know, you're, you're tall. I would take advantage of that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call... <laughs> I'm going to call a much thinner man than me fat. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>